minutes with Marvin Webster. Yo, what's up? How y'all doing? Good, man. Hey, man, my uncle Cedric sent me to the drugstore last week. He got some kind of infection on his foot. Doctor wrote him a prescription, made me go pick it up. When I dropped it off, said, goes, whoa, 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 hold up. They done give you the wrong bag. This here is for somebody named Jubilee. <laughs> I looked at the bag. I said, no, it says it's for Cedric Webster. Jubilee is the name of the drug. Say it goes, Jubilee? What kind of crackhead name is that? <laughs> Sounds made up to me. I said, well, it probably is made up. Them big drug companies make up names all the time. Mostly so they sound better on TV commercial, you know. Says here the medical name for Jubilee is something called Infinaconazole. <laughs> Good luck turning that into a snappy jingle for a TV commercial. Yeah. Says they didn't let them change the name just for the commercial. I said, yeah, all the time. Most of the real medical names for drugs sound like some dude from the East West Bowl on Key and Peel. <laughs> but that's the ride Hydrosoline, <laughs> University of Alabama. <laughs> Plus, they got so many new drugs coming out, they got to make them all sound different for safety. You know, you don't want the boy at the CVS looking at your doctor's scribbly ass handwriting and giving you the wrong kind of pills. <laughs> Say it goes, so they can just call it anything they want to? I said, well, not anything. I mean, they do all kind of research first. Of course, they want something to sound good on TV. And they also want to use the same name all over the world. So they got to check it out in a whole bunch of different languages. Uh, see, mm -hmm. I mean, you don't want to come up with a cool name for a new eye drop <laughs> and then find out it means cat turd in <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> see, it goes, so they could have called this stuff whatever they wanted to. And the best thing they could come up with is Jubilee. <laughs> What's up with that? Sound like something one of the real housewives of Atlanta would name a kid. <laughs> I said, well, they probably picked that because Jubilee sounds happy and hopeful. Say it goes, it's for toenail fungus. How happy can you be? <laughs> Won't they just call it toe game? I said, well, probably because they don't want some dumb old people like you rubbing it on your ball spot and getting a toenail growing out the top of your head. Yeah, but why they got to pick a name ain't got nothing to do with what it does. I said, well, you know, sometimes the name do sound like what it does. There's one for depression. It's called Abilify. Because it will abilify your sad ass to make it through the rest of the day. <laughs> they got one called Flow Naze. It's an allergy pill. It gives you better flow in your nasal cavity, see? They make one for hemorrhoids called Anusol. You can tell what that one's for because it got the word anus right at the front of the name. <laughs> see, it goes, oh, I see what you're saying here. Viagra sounds like what it does. The husband gets more vitality and the wife gets more aggravation. <laughs> and I bet they call it C. Alice because the boy took the first one, went to his wife and said, C. Alice is still working. <laughs> he riffed on for about 10 more minutes, but that's pretty much the highlight. Oh, by the way, it turns out that Jubilee stuff is the bomb on toenail fungus. Uh. Uncle said been using it less than a week. When he takes his shoe off, his foot looked 10 years younger than the rest of them. <laughs> Y'all think about it. I'm Marvin Webster.